The stage is set and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup final? Stay right here on EA TV for all the live action. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. Oh, big chance! Couldn't beat the keeper, unfortunately for him. Well, I think that's a bad miss. He just never looked convincing as he went through there. Well, it's been a long and winding road to the final for Portugal. It's worth remembering that they finished second in the qualifying group. They had to go through playoff matches against Turkey and North Macedonia just to get to the 2022 finals. And this past month has been challenging as well, but they're here and they have a well-earned track record as winners. Well, you're absolutely right, but I think they've got better and better as the tournament has worn on. They've got a great understanding of what's required of each player on the pitch. They're good tactically, they've been fit, and I think they've got every chance of being the world champions here, but they're going to have to play well. Well, they fancy a short one. Fernandes. Here's Bernardo Silva. Back to Neves. Jota. And did well to keep hold of it while waiting for the support to arrive. Fernandes. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, who would be a defender when the responsibility is one of trying to shackle Neymar? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Well, he must get rid of the ball. Otavio. Bruno Fernandes. And this is Diogo Jota now. Jota. On to Bruno Fernandes. It's with Ruben Neves. Guerrero. Just the challenge that was required. Casemiro. Here's Rafinha. Running with the ball confidently. Must be! And the ball is loose. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. How about the short corner? Neymar. Here's Vinicius Jr. And he read it well defensively. Diogo Jota. It's with Ruben Neves. Bruno Fernandes. Jota. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Oh, 
he couldn't outwit the keeper. Favouring the short one. Fernandes still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead but not forcing it an alert piece of defending well as we've seen Brazil have completely dominated the ball in the last 15 minutes and created a hatful of chances but when you're enjoying that amount of possession you need to make it count yes it's going to plan and they might be able to carve out another chance Casimiro Well, it came to nothing in the end. Cristiano Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes has it. Otavio. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, it petered out. Well, shielding the ball admirably. Ronaldo. Just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to Saber. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. They get the ball moving again. Can Brazil come up with an answer here? Rafinha. Now Casemiro. High quality defending. Otavio. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Guerrero. Turning inside. Where's he going to go? Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. So into the second half, can Brazil battle back after that first 45? Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late and he deserved the booking for that. And Neymar! And he takes it on, and foiled only by the crossbar! Well, it was certainly a chance to get back into the game, and you have to say they're a bit unfortunate, but they do need to finish off one of these chances. Well, having been denied by the woodwork, now the focus is on keeping the opposition at bay. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Can they take advantage of the situation? Being egged on by the crowd, and a decent save, full credit. Here it is now, a substitution. And over it comes. 
And the header needed to be a lot better than that. Didn't really make the keeper work. Casimiro. Fred with it. Here's Marquinhos. Fred. Neymar. Now with Casimiro. Oh, could be a chance. Oh, the equaliser. Just what they needed. And the dream remains very much alive. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So back underway following the equaliser. Now we're into the final half hour. Bernardo Silva. Bruno Fernandes. Top class defending. Vinicius Junior. On to Fred. And back with Vinicius. Casimiro. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Diogo Jota. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Oh, what an opportunity. Can he convert? That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. And the substitution will occur now. And short it is. Jota. Real chance. Oh, and it goes to propel them into the lead. Just what they wanted. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. A dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider well we have 20 minutes left in this game Neymar well that is how to nullify the opposition Neymar what a block Playing it short. But after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Turning inside, where's he going to go? Well, clearly in the mood to make it a double, but fine goalkeeping. Well, he's playing really well today. That was another decent attempt. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And taken short. Corner once more. The delivery from Neymar. Well smuggled behind for another corner.
elects to go short. Paqueta. But on you go, says the referee. Advantage. This might be ideal for the counter. Bruno Fernandes. Good looking sequence. Fernando Silva. Could be. And quite simply, a wonderful chance was squandered. Eder Militao. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Crossing possibilities. And space for them here on the flank. This could level it. Oh, the goal to level us up in the closing stages. Who's going to claim the trophy? It's an open question here. Well, as you can see from the replay, it's the perfect through ball from Jesus, but I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it should go in at that near post. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. Rafinha. How oh, can they nudge in front late on here? Can he put them in front? No is the answer to the question. And that could be so important at this stage. Well, will they get another chance? That would surely have won the game for them. Over it comes. Not away completely. Well, nothing untoward happened. Portugal unable to retain possession. A danger here as he runs at them. Chance to play it in. Well, the two sides still locked together. And a set piece, a corner, can make all the difference. Fired in by Neymar. And they deal with the threat this time. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. Understandable that fatigue might set in. A strength sapping night for all concerned as the first period of extra time begins. And that'll be a Portugal throw. And Brazil with control of the ball again. Mateus Cunha. Now, who can he play it to? To jump in front. Well, fantastic reflex action. Keen to take it short here. Now able to close down the short. Paqueta. 
He read the situation defensively and did his job. Portugal pushing forward with options available. Can he take advantage? Oh, a goal! And that wasn't part of the plan. An own goal it is, and no wonder his head is slumped. Well, as you can see, it came off him last, and as a result, it will be an own goal. So unfortunate. And the ball is moving again, 3-2. Mateus Cunha. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Lucas Paqueta and Neymar Neymar and he's done it parity again a magnificent game unfolding well here's the replay and it has been coming they've played some great football in this game and they fully deserve this goal Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Rafael Leao. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Andres Silva. It's a good looking ball in behind. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. He's driven in the corner. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Half time in extra time, and still they are level. Well, the big question, who will come out on top? We're into the second period of extra time here. Paqueta. Able to deal with the threat. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Bruno Fernandes. Casemiro with the block. Well, this corner could be pivotal. It might represent the last chance to get in front in the dying moments. Playing it in. And still dangerous. Fernandes and making his move inside Bernardo Silva determined defending the referee correctly decided to play advantage can they grab the lead late on opportunity it is oh incredible save and he snuffed out the danger Cunha. Now with Richarlison. Really doing a fine job of protecting the ball. Can he finish? 
and still an opportunity what a genuine opportunity but it was squandered goal kick Well, the stoppage time situation, one minute here. All even, but will it stay that way? Danilo Pereira, determined block. Well, a fantastic final, and it's going to end in the most nerve-shredding way possible with a penalty shootout. shielding the ball at and this will test the mentality of any footballer and the keeper makes the all-important save what a big moment that wasn't easy to do superb execution as straight as an arrow his turn to try to convert from the spot well, that was the so-called Panenka, but when it doesn't work out, oh dear. In it goes! And up he comes, doing his best to remain focused. And confidently converted! Oh, brilliant goalkeeping! And just like that, he's come up with the save! Job done from the spot! So much pressure. If he fails to score, they lose. Oh, that's it! The final act in the drama. One team jubilant, the other distraught. Well, what an end into a very good tournament, and I think they fully deserve to win it. Maybe not in this manner, though, but it was great entertainment. It certainly was, and they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment for everyone involved with the club, but for their opponents, it's a case of trying to forget and move on as quickly as possible. Well, I think we should give them some credit too. They played their part in what was an excellent contest. Some of their football was brilliant. Yes, fair play, Stuart. The party in full swing now. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. Brazil, the world champions. And this triumph, you just feel, Stuart, is going to be fondly remembered by all Brazilians. You're absolutely right. They've played some great football. They've been inspiring. There's been some great individual performances. It's been outstanding from them.